Do you know? Do you know that Samson? Samson was not defeated because his hair was cut. Let me show you. And you have not told me where your power comes from. And it came to pass when he when she praised him daily with her words. Fear women. I greet you family. Good news to you. Good news to you. Welcome you to another video of the day. In this video, a man of God, highly esteemed prophet to bed angel, in his teaching made us to understand that uh, the strength of Samson was not in his lock. And he went on to talk about how you must fear women. <laughs> so if you are new to this channel, show us love by subscribing, liking and sharing. So let's go to this video and watch this teaching for a man of God, highly esteemed prophet, Cupid angel. Do you know? Do you know that Samson, Samson was not defeated because his hair was cut? Let me show you. The power of Samson was not in the hair. Let me show you something. Because I can assure you. You are not getting it at all. In Judges 16, 15. I want to show you. Sit down, sit down. Oh, oh. Do whatever. Some assault. Personal Hukote. Everyone in this hall right this minute. I speak to you wherever you are. With your hands raised, I speak to you. You are the one they've been waiting for. There is not another person coming. You are the one that they are waiting for. In Jesus' mighty name. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Where do I go? Let me go here. Yeah. Hear yeah. what the scripture said. And she said unto him, this is several times he's lying to Delilah. And remember, Delilah was a wife, not a prostitute. And she said unto him, how can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You mock me, baby. These three times, Sam, you should imagine Delilah talking romantic stuff <laughs> Delilah was dangerous <laughs> now watch this thou has smoked me these three times are you getting this and he has not told me where your great power comes from maybe some of you don't understand the power of Samson I know you some of you are missing the power of Samson do you understand the power of Samson the power of Samson is simple he grabbed a whole gate for the city you know a city gate is from here to there he grabbed it removed it from its hinges and put it on his shoulder and climbed the mountain <laughs> you, you're not you see i can tell i'm talking to just few people that are stuck up for deep things climbed on top of a mountain no, please just go down the mountain don't climb it, do you know Samson was so slim? Very slim. If you look at Samson, wind will blow him away. If he had muscles, Delilah would not be convinced by the Philistines. Go and inquire where his power is coming from. It didn't make sense. You look at his body. It didn't make sense. There was a fire. An altar. An economy of fire sputtering his strength. Hear me well. Hear me well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see Delilah. Uh, I love thee. Hmm. I love you. Why do you mock me? Three times you've been lying to me. Hmm. And you've not told me where your power comes from. And it came to pass when, he, when she praised him daily with her words. Fear women. The moment you hear them talk, fear them. <laughs> Their great power is not on the body. It's not the legs. That's just means of transport. It's not the breasts. That's baby food. Hmm. You are not hearing me. Notice what the woman said. Watch this. It's only the words. When she praised him daily 
with their words. Let's go. Let's go to Samson. 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 My line was came It's Judges. The book of Judges. 16. Then Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart. Now this, let's go to let's go to 17 because it seems as if we skipped a little bit. Uh, are you getting this or have gone home? Are you getting this? Judges, the book of Judges. In Britain, they call it Judges. Mm, the book of Judges. Ah, chapter number 16 and verse number 17. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Mm. Now hear this. Then he told her all his heart. Ah, oh, the man was romanced to a level. Are you still here? He was romanced to a level where he said, mm, what can we say here? He said, I'm telling you the whole truth now. Three times the guy lied. Then she tormented him with words, babe. What will I do to you? If you love me, just give me your WhatsApp password. <laughs> I saw this man, he had to put his toe print. <laughs> and the woman woke up looking for the password. Whereas it was the toe. <laughs> Are you getting it? Women are dangerous. They get into your... And then they get angry. They become the victims again. <laughs> then he said, listen, I know you have troubled me with your romantic words. Here it is. There hath not come a razor upon my head. For I have been a Nazarene unto God from my mother's womb. He's saying I've been an offering. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak and be like any other man. Listen to this and stay there. Now, I just told you the power of Samson was not in the locks. But he is saying, it's in the locks. So who is right, me or Samson? <laughs> verse number 18 will prove I'm right. And verse number 19. And Delilah saw that he had told all his heart. He sent and called the lords of the Philistine, the big ones, the big bosses, the generals, saying, come up this once, for he had shown me all his heart. Hush. Then the lord of the Philistines came mm, up unto her and brought money in their hand. Delilah loved no, her husband. Money just came in. Man is a very dangerous person. I, I always say every, every person is a potential prostitute. It just takes circumstances to become one. Let me say it here because this is don't appreciate the truth. I appreciate the truth here. Every man, as a matter of fact, every woman is a potential prostitute. Just takes circumstances to become one. The point is, how much will it take for you to uncross your legs? You see, see what I'm saying today are bones. <laughs> how much money will you be given for you to say, all oh, my morals are gone now. Give me. I will wait. Because you want me to rush this process. I'm not... I'll stay here until you say amen. <laughs> now the circumstances that Delilah found herself in is the love for her husband and the love for money. And money had more appeal to her than the husband. And also Samson loved the wife too much that there was a problem because if you look in the preceding verses you'll find one thing you'll find a problem
problem because every time he lied delilah would call the philistines and test it and you'd lie again test it three times he was lying and delilah would just prove that she was she was evil listen to this do you understand that in the old testament it says if a woman you marry who sleeps with you betrays you kill her let me repeat i said old testament we are in the new so clap hands women clap hands clap hands clap hands no matter tonight now here let's go so that you understand it are you, we are now in 19 right i want you to see the word anna the word anna is the word afflict it means to abuse here we go and she made him sleep upon her knees the great powerful samson is on the knees of a woman caressed there until you went to bed he slept he just dozed off have you ever been loved that you doze off And she called for a man and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of the head and samson lost power no that's not what the scripture say the scriptures don't say that scripture says it this way and caused him to shave off seven locks of his head and she began to afflict him i want you to understand this what made samson to lose power was not because the lock said gone no the bible says and she called a man judges 16 verse number 19 she called a man latune hekanoma she called a man shave off the seven locks and she began to annoy him to abuse him i'm not going to go into length into deep areas of what the abuse was There is something called an affliction she caused on a man with no locks. So it was the money, number one. Number two, the removal of the locks. Number three, this Anna afflict him. And his strength went from him because of the affliction, not the shaving of the locks. What, is, what was the kind of abuse that Samson suffered while he was asleep? the scripture says the man was asleep and he was abused while he was asleep what kind of abuse can you cause a man who is not looking at you what were you touching i'm going now watch what the scriptures are saying she afflicted him and here we go here we go here we go and she said the philistines be upon this samson and he awoke that means he was afflicted while he's asleep and she awoke and he awoke out of the sleep and said i will go out as the other times before and shake myself hmm. that word shake myself there is the word where we get the word from mane of a lion you know that hair of a lion that when it rouses from sleep or somewhere, it shakes the man. So every time Samson would face his, his enemies, he would shake his locks, his rasta. What do you shake, brother? I said, what do you shake, sister? When trouble faces you, what do you shake? I'm talking to somebody here who understands there is a something that you ought to open up for power to come out of you. What do you shake? When it was Brother Burnham, he would feel fire from one hand to the other and he knew God was dealing with demons. What is the thing that you know God is here? If you don't have it, you have no opener. You have no switch to get into the realm of the spirit to fraternize with divinity. You can't do it because you need a switch. And for Samson, he will just wake up. I wish I had people here that understand when you are late to execute what God has called you to become. What you can do is you need to find that switch. That every time when you know you are late, you just wake up.
he was so late they grabbed him took him to the Colosseum and the Philistines are poking him he is now blind you can't see if you are not careful what was your gift can kill you what are you called as you might have been called as a pastor or an evangelist or a prophet your gift is the one that will kill you if you delay right now listen to this right now if i want to go if i want to go and play professional football i'm too late your time also can come and go you are still waiting what are you waiting for i said what are you waiting for 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 why can't you rise why can't you stand up and claim your position your whole family you shall be the case breaker i said your whole family you shall be the case breaker i said you shall be the case breaker in your family you shall be the case breaker in your family you shall be the case breaker in your family so i believe you understand the perspective where prophet angel was coming from so thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe like share and comment on this video let me know what you think in the comment section below god bless you i'll see you in my next one